morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and often deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and rosacea and acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your calls. On the bright side, try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you heard me on Coast to Coast last night and you didn't get on, give us a call today and we'll get you first up. Tell our call screener that you didn't get on yesterday on the program or on Coast to Coast last night. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also check out my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren who set those up. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Start yourself a Longevity business. Make some money spreading the word about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a business, or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you like. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team, or you can sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. If you want to purchase any of my skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you check out our retinol gel. Retinol 5% gel. No preservatives, no emulsifiers, no surfactants, no fillers of any kind. Just retinol, vitamin C, and transdermal penetrating agents. And that is it. You shouldn't have to pay for preservatives. You shouldn't have to pay for perfume. You shouldn't have to pay for emulsifiers. Not to mention the fact that they're not good for your skin anyway. If you've ever used Retin-A, by the way, and you couldn't use it, one of the main reasons you couldn't use it is because it's got sodium lauryl sulfate in it and propylene glycol in it, and it's got irritants in it, and it's got wax in it, and it's got preservatives in it. It's not necessarily the retinoic acid. We'll talk about retinol and retinoic acid a little bit probably next week or so. We spent a lot of time the last couple of weeks talking about that, but it's hard to avoid talking about retinol and vitamin C for that matter. When you're talking hyperpigmentation, and that's what we've been addressing here on the bright side now for a couple of weeks, not as a skin issue necessarily. And that's a key idea when it comes to skin health. I've been working with the skin now since 1983. I made my first skin product working for the Blistex Corporation in 1983. And I've been doing a lot of formulating since then, skincare formulating. I've sold a lot of skincare products. I've done a lot of work with the skin. And I'm telling you, if you got eczema, psoriasis, hyperpigmentation, acne, oily skin, whatever, if you got wrinkles, if you've got dry skin, if you got any skin health issue, please understand 99% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, it involves the internal milieu. It involves internal conditions in the body. It involves internal structures in the body. It involves the circulatory system. It involves the glandular system, especially involves the adrenal glands. Your stress glands, yes, there is a major, major relationship between biochemical distress, emotional distress, mental distress, and even spiritual distress, and the health of the skin. We've been talking about it. The adrenal glands, there's so many things you could do for your adrenal glands if you're feeling like you need better skin, like you're hyperpigmenting, like you want more energy, improved hormone health, if you're going through menopausal symptoms. These are all issues 
that can uh, be, be addressed by working with the adrenal glands. And also blood pressure. Your adrenal glands are your blood pressure glands. They control your blood pressure. If you got hypertension, folks, the chances are pretty darn good you're dealing with an adrenal health issue, adrenal stress issue. If this sounds like you or a friend or a loved one, you have a lot of options for feeling better by addressing adrenal health. The adrenal glands are your blood pressure glands along with your kidneys. Adrenal means sitting on top of the kidneys, and the adrenals and the kidneys are your major blood pressure centers, especially your adrenals, which makes sense. Because when you're under some kind of stress, when you're under some kind of burden, you need more pressure. You need more blood pressure. You need more oxygen delivered to the cells. So when the adrenal glands either sense low oxygen or sense an emergency, they will initiate changes in the chemistry of the blood to get more pressure going, to get more delivery of oxygen and delivery of nutrients and also detoxification. This is why the adrenal glands are one of the centers of attack by prescription medicine for lowering blood pressure. ACE inhibitor drugs, if you've heard of lisinopril or losartan, these are drugs that work with a, a major adrenal hormone that nobody ever talks about. We talk about cortisol all the time. We talk about adrenal stress hormones, epinephrine or adrenaline, but we don't really talk about this hormone called aldosterone. I'll bet you some of you guys haven't even heard of this stuff. Aldosterone is a super important adrenal hormone, super important for controlling blood pressure. In a 2010 paper published in the journal Neuroscience and Behavioral Reviews, researchers from Harvard Medical School showed that the adrenal hormone, aldosterone, A-L-D-O-S-T-E-R-O-N-E, it's a steroid hormone, sterone, it's a forgotten steroid hormone. Researchers showed in this paper that aldosterone is an important and, as they say in the paper, forgotten link between psychological stress and heart disease. If you've ever thought that the whole emotional and mental and psychological factor that's associated with circulatory problems and, and heart disease, a leading cause of death in this country and around the world is airy-fairy, you thought that this was kind of silly, that your emotions and your mental nature and your spiritual nature and these sort of abstract ideas are related to the physical body, well, here's your link, aldosterone at least according to this paper. Not a day goes by without us men mentioning the link between blood pressure and oxygen and how the he uh, overall health of the body shows up. And a major component of this link between oxygenation, respiration, and blood pressure, and overall health are the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are constantly monitoring blood oxygen and carbon dioxide. And when oxygen drops, carbon dioxide builds up, stress hormones and aldosterone are immediately secreted out of the adrenal glands to raise the blood pressure, raise the blood pressure in some areas and also lower it in others. In this paper published in the journal Neuroscience and Behavioral Reviews, scientists point out that while adrenaline and cortisol get all the press, when it comes to the stress response or the, uh, when it comes to how the body handles stress, aldosterone may actually be as or more important when it comes to, at least when it comes to uh, controlling blood pressure. So what does aldosterone do? How does it affect pressure? Well, it controls fluid and minerals, salt and their interaction between fluid, the interaction between salt and fluids. The body uses these salts which we call electrolytes, potassium, sodium, magnesium, and calcium to change the fluid levels in the blood. It's a very interesting relationship between salts, electrolytes, and fluid. Salts, potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium specifically are fluid magnets. They suck up water. This is why they'll put uh, in some cities, some municipal areas, they'll sprinkle salt on the roads because uh, salt on ice, I should say, when, when it gets icy or when, when it gets uh, during the wintertime, when it gets slippery on the roads, they'll sprinkle salt on the roads. The salt will suck up the moisture out of the ice and the ice will melt. Salt is actually a type of antifreeze because it has this ability to suck up water. Well, the same sucking up water property, water mag magnet property of salt has a major impact, has a major role to play on the fluid volume of the blood, how fat the blood is how filled with fluid it is, and this is what one of the ways that pressure is controlled. Hang tight, I'll explain when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, got lines open for you. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright 
right side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got a line open for you. We'll get to your calls here in just a moment. Try to get your, oh, we'll get your calls here in our second segment or in this segment so we can squeeze in as many as possible. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls and also special welcome to our coast to, new listeners from coast to coast. If you didn't catch my interview last night with George, I was on with him for three hours. It'll be posted, the interview will be posted at criticalhealthnews.com. You'll also find articles and uh, blog posts at criticalhealthnews.com as well. And you can purchase your longevity products right off the website, criticalhealthnews.com. Also, pharmacistben.com, also brightsideben.com. And of course, we welcome you on the Brightside Ben team. If you're interested in helping spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, if you want to get your products at the wholesale price, and if you want to be an entrepreneur, and if you want to be an opinion leader, if you want to change lives, that's really what this is about, you guys. Yeah, we're going to make some money. Well, you're going to make there's as much money as you want, really. You can make as little or as much as you want by helping spread the word. If you know anything about multi-level or network marketing, the compensation program from Longevity is, is the best in the business. That's why the company's been around for so long. And, of course, the products are impeccable. And the message is sterling. And you got Dr. Wallach, you got myself, you got Dr. Glidden, you've got healthcare professionals who can guide you through the entire process. In any case, you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, also pharmacistben.com, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you here in just a moment. Uh, I want to continue talking a bit here about aldosterone. You don't really hear about this hormone, but it's very, very important for controlling fluids and minerals. This is how it works to control blood pressure, by monitoring oxygen levels in the blood and secreting electrolytes into the blood in order to expand the blood volume and to increase the pressure when there is an emergency or some kind of stressor. Increasing the pressure of the blood is the way the body improves delivery of oxygen, delivery of nutrients, and also detoxification under conditions of emergency. Calming the body down is the way you lower blood pressure. This is, uh, you guys, there's 80 million Americans with what they call essential hypertension. And that means hypertension or high blood pressure that doctors are mystified by. Well, I'm telling you, it's no mystery. You don't have to be mystified by your high blood pressure. It's a sign of duress, like all health issues. And our duress glands, our stress glands, our emergency glands, are our adrenal glands. Cortisol and adrenaline, those are your stress hormones. Those are the ones that get all the press when it comes to blood pressure. Well, aldosterone is really your main blood pressure controlling hormone. And this is how ACE inhibitor drugs are one of the ways that ACE inhibitor drugs like lisinopril and losartan work. When the body senses low oxygen or when the body needs more oxygen for getting out of a jam, aldosterone will get involved into the well, aldosterone levels will get up, will, will increase, they'll, they'll get into the act, so to speak, pulling minerals into the blood, which attracts water, raises the blood volume, and increases pressure. And this salt pulling effect, the salt water pulling effect, I should say, raises the volume. And this is the logic of the so-called low salt diet, which, by the way, is an example of medical nonsense at its finest. If you're trying to lower your blood pressure by going on a low salt diet, good luck because aldosterone controls things. So you go on a low salt diet, but you're gonna have more aldosterone and you're gonna end up pumping more salt into your blood. You can't control your salt content to lower your blood pressure or, or the salt content of your diet to control your blood pressure very effectively. And you can't go on a low salt diet very effectively because you're gonna crave salt. We need salt. It's a mighty 90 essential nutrient, what we call salt. And salts, what we call salt really is table salt or sodium chloride, but salts from a chemical perspective, or in the body anyway, are potassium, sodium, calcium, chloride, and magnesium. And these are all involved in controlling the blood pressure. And aldosterone is our salt control hormone. And it's one of, if not the determining factor in assuring how much salt we're going to have in our blood. In times of stress, aldosterone controls all of these various relationships between the electrolytes and between the fluid. So working on your aldosterone levels by using adrenal support is key for blood pressure. Adrenal support nutrients are